Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. Huge day today, four rob shops, trip to the thrift Thursday morning. It's my favorite day of the week. You get to come along with me. We get to find some really cool stuff to sell on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. If you're here for the first time, I'm a full-time online reseller. I sell on eBay and I sell on Facebook Marketplace, but I also have a heap of fun putting three new videos out right here on YouTube every single week documenting that journey. So if that's something that you're into, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button as well. It's a great way to wish me luck for the thrift ahead. Fingers crossed we can find some really cool stuff. We are here at the first one now, so let's get moving. Yeah. You coming? Let's go. Guys, op shop number one, all wrapped up and not too bad of a way to start the day. We've got some pretty cool items here. I've been able to find these Nike Roshi men's running shoes. Now, what size are they? They're a size 10 and a half. They are in pretty much like new condition. I'm gonna go and try and push these for $60 free postage on eBay. I'll pay just 10 bucks. So when you take out fees and postage, that's probably about a $35 profit in my pocket at the end of the day on those ones. So super stoked to get that. I found a pair of uh, super dry jeans as well. Now, this one was a good one. They're size 30 waist but they are in pretty much like new condition. As you can see there, they're super dry. Uh, vintage super dry, loose jeans, 30 waist, 32 length. There is nothing wrong with those. And look, I didn't do any comps on the super dry brand. It just goes on to sell well on eBay. I think it's roughly 30 to 30 to $40 maybe. I'll need to triple check. Uh, you'll see them up here as, as we go along. The other one that I found as well was Daniel Silver. Now this book author was actually comping up pretty well on eBay. So if you're doing your books, have a look for some collections of Daniel Silver. I've been able to find myself four, actually five books of Daniel Silver here. So look, not too bad of a little collect there. Whether I go ahead and post them all up as a set of five, or whether I wait to collect a few more in the Daniel Silver range, yet to be seen. But I just thought I'd grab those because it is a good author. Paid a dollar each for those books. So we're talking five bucks for five books in the Daniel Silver collection. This one as well, I thought was a very interesting one. Now, it's a DVD series that I've personally never heard of, Monkey. Uh, Monkey Collector's Edition is what I've got my hands on here. There are four DVDs, uh, season one and two. I think that's all that was ever made. I've actually paid $24, as you can see there. I've paid 24 bucks for this, and there was some comps on eBay in use condition going for $120. So. I've said it in past videos, guys, don't be afraid to spend more if you know you're gonna be able to sell for a whole lot more. So being able to get this one around the $100 sell price, I'm happy to grab it for 24 bucks. We'll see how we go with it. It's a bit of a collector's item. It is a bit knocked around, as you can see there, but it, I don't know, we'll see how we go. Just something different, but again, yet another DVD. Um, I also found a heap more of the Rochelle Meads that you would have seen from last week. Now, uh, just a random assortment. Um, so as you can see there, a bit more Rochelle made. Um, I've got six books there for $6. So not too bad of a start with the books today. Um, and that was it, I think. I don't think there was anything more, no. Um, so a stack of books, a DVD, a pair of shoes, and a set of jeans. Exactly what I like to purchase when I'm in the thrift. And I've hardly paid anything for it. A dollar on the books, $10 shoes, the jeans are about five bucks, and um, oh, that was 24. That was $24, but I, I still think if it sells for 100 bucks, geez, it'll be absolutely worth it. So let's push on. Op shop number one all ticked off. We've got some items to start the day. Hopefully, op shop number two can be just as good. <laughs> Oh, 
guys, I think that was the very first time I have ever left an op shop without purchasing anything. Um, had a good look around. Those Tommy Hilfiger polo shirts for $25. It was just ridiculous. Um, I almost bought the VCR, that was $35. And I think the comps on eBay were about a hundred bucks. So I almost bought that, but overall I really just couldn't find anything. And sometimes you just have to walk away. Um, no shoes, shoes have been cleaned out. I don't know if other resellers have got in and, and purchased the shoes before me, but uh, they were only sort of the average sorts left over. So um, we've done two off shops now, but I've only sourced out of one. Um, so fingers crossed this day can pick up because it's a little bit slow now. Um, hopefully op shop number three, we can lift things. Let's get into it. guys op shop number three for the day and i tried super hard and i have come away with a little bit of a mini stack here so i'll take you through some of these ones the first ones were the dvds i popped up and had a look at the blu-ray discs and i did find two star wars they are used condition unfortunately they aren't sealed but they were both selling for 12 dollars 50 free postage on ebay i'm going to try and sell these as a bundle i've paid just a dollar each so i've only paid two bucks Star Wars, obviously very popular. You always get one or two more dollars when you sell a Blu-ray disc uh, from what I've been able to see on eBay. So look, I think I might go something like $25 free postage. Hopefully I can get them into a $4.50 envelope uh, and make a $20 sale on eBay off $2, which I think would be pretty good. I had a good sift through the, the Blu-ray discs and unfortunately they were the only two that I could grab. Uh, I did find a very nice pair of shoes in the Heli Hansen brand. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard of this HH Heli Hansen brand before, but these are a very, very good pair of shoes. They are in excellent condition as well. Look, I know this brand from my snowboarding days in Canada. Um, I have paid a little bit top end actually at $15, but because they're in such good condition and I just know how expensive the brand actually is, I, I couldn't see a lot on the comps. And I'll have a bit more of a look when I get home and put something up here for you in the edit. But regardless of what the comps say, I just think that this brand is worth getting your hands on, especially in clothing. Um, but seeing it for the very first time, especially in the thrift, in a pair of shoes, I'm just gonna have a crack at that. I'm gonna see if I can't make myself a $50 sale on eBay, even though I've paid 15, it won't be as much of a profit, but I still think it was a nice pair of shoes and the first time that I've got the brand. So I just wanna experiment with it and see how I go. Um, I've also found a pair of Levi Strauss. Um, I'll tell you what, when you're having a bad day and you're not finding what you want in the thrift, you can always rely on Levi Strauss. Now I found a pair of 504s. Um, these are a size 35 waist, 32 length, and they are just a plain black. They literally probably haven't been worn. They are in just great condition. I have paid $10 for them, as you can see there. But look, the, the Levi 504s, Levi's in general, you can play, pay upwards of you know $45 to $50 for them on eBay. So, you know, if I sell them for 45 free postage and I've only paid 10 bucks, again, it's not a massive profit, but I still think they'll sell quickly and I'll put a few dollars of profit in my pocket. Um, look, the other one here for $5, which was a great grab as well, was Xanarobe. Um, now, I grabbed the brand Xanarobe quite a bit. It is quite popular. Uh, I personally like to wear the brand myself. These are a size 32 waist. 
Uh, again, they're in great condition. They've got the cuffed ankles as well. So uh, I've sold a few of these in the past for around the 30 odd dollar price point. Um, at $5, I thought that was a pretty cheap price. And then when I'm doing my shirts, I've bought a couple of shirts here. The first one that I've got for $4 uh, was another brand that I personally wear, and that is Ruka, Rivka, RVCA, whatever you want to call it. Um, but this was a long sleeve. And when I'm buying my long sleeve shirts or my shirts in general, eBay, I just tend to get a few more dollars long over short. So I've grabbed the RVCA brand there, and I've also grabbed uh, the Levi Strauss in a, uh, a really nice long sleeve button up as well. So there it is there. I've paid $8 for this, but I'm gonna try and sell it for $28 free postage on eBay. So this one's a size large, um, it's a slim fit. It's just a really nice shirt. And I do think with the Levi Strauss brand, it will go on to sell in a pretty quick space of time. So. Look, I don't think any of these items here are screaming high dollar worth of profit. I think they're all really good brands and I think that I've bought them at a price where I still can make a bit of a profit. Um, but geez, it was just a lot of digging. I'm hoping that these Helly Hansons can be the, the steal of the uh, of the trip there with that third op shop, but it was a battle. It was a real battle in there. I spent $48 and um, look, there is some profit, but um, probably not a crazy amount. So we really, really need to pick things up here for op shop number four to finish the day. And I've just got a funny feeling there might be something good to round it out. So let's get into it. Fingers crossed, we'll hope for the best. There is one thing that I am doing today though that I think is a really key tip for anyone out there that is always like trying to find great items in the thrift. It's what I, it's what we all do. We all try to find the best items. And when you get days like today where you don't find what you're looking for, I think it's very easy to fall down the trap of just buying anything and just seeing something at a relatively good price and going, oh, I need something, so I'll just buy it. You've just got to be okay with stepping away and not buying anything um, because really you're only looking for those key items you know will go on to sell well. So if you're not seeing them, don't feel like you need to have anything in your hands when you walk out the door because it's probably a smarter move, I think, to come away empty handed than to just spend money unnecessarily. Cash flow is very important. Tie your money up in stuff you know that you can actually sell. So. We're here at the fourth op shop now. Fingers crossed we can actually come out with a few items because uh, it has been a relatively slow day so far. But yeah, just one little key point before we dive in. I guess it's just not my day and not a lot in this last op shop. I've grabbed these vans though, which I thought were pretty good. Um, they're gonna clean up all right. There is a little bit of dirt on them, but um, they'll scrub up pretty well. They're actually US 13, so I don't mind grabbing the bigger size and I've paid $8, uh, which you might, no, you won't be able to see it. Anyway, eight bucks I paid for those. So always grab your vans. They generally for us over here in Australia, at least anyway, about 40 to $45 pretty comfortably uh, on eBay. I also found a Nautica polo shirt as well. Um, this one was a size large, it was only $5. I try and sell these for about 20 bucks plus postage. Um, now I thought that was just a really nice colorway. Um, Nautica brand is obviously a pretty good one to get your hands on. Um, yeah, size large on that, so the size was good too. I found this as well, which was Denali. Now Denali, there are a couple of comps on eBay which were telling me to grab this one. There it is there. Uh, this one is a size large. It was just a really nice, really, really good condition zip up jacket. Um, men's large, long sleeved obviously. So look, I think, you know, having only paid $10, I think I'm gonna be able to sell this coming into the winter time over here in Australia. 
for maybe 40 bucks free postage, still certainly worth getting my hands on. And then something that I found around the house actually when I first started to sell online um, was this game, the logo board game. So we had this lying around the house, I did some comps on it and it actually goes on to sell really well. And it sold really quickly too. So um, I'll find the comp of the one that I sold and whack it up here for you. But as soon as I saw that for $6.50, there's actually a second version where there's some extra writing up here that you can get that's really worth quite a few more dollars. This is just the standard game though, but it still goes on to sell well. So I've grabbed that too. So. Look guys, that was actually really it. It was only $29 spent in that uh, last op shop. And overall, it was actually a really disappointing day. I'm, I'm sure I've got a number of items here that will go on to sell well. There were no sort of Hail Mary home run items that were gonna make me a lot of money. It was really a lot of small items that I can just slowly chip it away at a few dollars of profit. So um, disappointing because I love to do these videos and bring you some awesome items and uh, obviously get you guys excited as I am about it. But um, certainly just wasn't the case today. And that's ultimately how it goes with the thrift. You're just always never guaranteed to find the items that you're looking for. But um, that uh, doesn't discourage me. I'll be back out again over the next few days and fingers crossed it can pick up and get a little bit better. So hopefully, even though it hasn't been the uh, crazy day of thrift finds that I would have liked, you've still enjoyed this episode. Uh, let me know in the comments below how you're going with your thrifting at the moment and what you've found out in the thrift. Um, look forward to catching you in the next episode, guys. I'll end it there and fingers crossed we can get better next week. We'll see you soon. Thanks, guys.